Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd. Guess what? We've got another Destiny weapon up for printing. Let's do this. You ready? Go. I'm always on the lookout for good models to print. And my boy Kirby Downey over at my mini factory produces some of the best models because he takes into account the people that have to print his models. His models are very easy to assemble and the pieces that they're cut into make sense. He just released a model for the, oh, I'm gonna butcher this name, I'm really sorry, the Omelon Kumakatok HC4. It's a, it's a legendary hand cannon from Destiny. Um, and here it is, look, I've got pieces. I've got, I've got Kumaka, Kumaka, I wrote this down, Kumakatok. Kumakatok. Omelon Kumakatok. Right? HC4. And it's great. It prints in three pieces, and I printed them all at once on my printer. I don't have a time lapse set up for this because my GoPro battery is dead and I had to go to work. Sorry about that. Here's the first piece. It's a handle. Easy enough. The second piece, here's the, the trigger and the, the middle part. The third part, it's a little wobbly, but be careful. But it's, it's the barrel and the thing that goes under the barrel. And they're all going to attach like this. You're probably asking yourself, well, these are just flat pieces. If you glue them together, aren't they gonna, there's gonna be some rigidity problems, right? If you're flinging this around and slaying people left and right, how is it, how is it gonna hold together? Thankfully, Kirby took that into account and gave us these holes. There's two of them, and they run through the entirety of each model, except this one and this one, because it's gotta end somewhere. These holes are for metal rods to fit through. It gives stability to the gun, and it gives added weight to the gun to give it a better hand feel. The MyMiniFactory.com page for this gun has the rods listed at 4.8 millimeters. Um, I went to Home Depot, and I, didn't, and I was with the kids, and I didn't want to spend a lot of time because dinner was cooking. So I picked up this threaded rod. It was, it was connected, but, but I cut it. This threaded rod fits perfectly into the holes. I can show you. So it'll go into here, it'll go into here. The next piece that goes on, it should be, let's see, have the holes lined up? Can't see anything. Boy, I suck, here we go, ready? That was easy. Last but not least, the barrels. There's one and there's the other. So they will fit together just like this and we'll have ourselves a gun. What I need to do is put some glue in places. And what's nice about having this threaded rod is that I can add some glue along the length of the rod and that glue will fasten itself to the model and keep it nice and tight. All right, um, I'm going to apply glue. Let's see what happens. Wish me luck. First, what I'm gonna do is take my X-Acto knife and put some score lines in the model. The pieces that I'm gluing together, they're the, the faces that are touching, but the, that's gonna have the glue are faces that were on the build plate, so they're very smooth. By doing this, I'm giving the glue a better chance to adhere to both sides of the model. Obviously, it's best if I keep my hands far away from this blade because if I stick myself, I am just gonna bleed all over the place. Not in a good way. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Trying to be careful. Ah, there we go. Last piece scored. Let's get some glue going. First, I'm going to put some glue into the holes. There we go. I'll put some right there. All right. I can add the rod. I'm gonna add some glue right into the touch. I'm probably not doing this right, but I don't care. I'll put some on the threads. Mm 
I'll slide this into place. Last but not least, more glue. Almost put it on upside down. Boy, that would have sucked. All right, everything is connected. Now I'm gonna give it a few minutes to dry. I'm just gonna hold it here for a while. You might as well go blank off or make a cup of coffee or I don't know, go get some Taco Bell. Okay, seriously. If you pause this video and you go get Taco Bell, you let me know. I love Taco Bell. I do like the super glue. It seems to set in 30 seconds or so. I'm not going to play around with it too much tonight. I mean, I'll let it set overnight. Do I dare? There we go. Look at that. That looks good. Does that look good on the uh, on the camera? There we go. Light one, light two. Here it is, the Amalon. Oh, geez, I butcher this name. Hold on. Here it is, the Omalon Kum. <laughs> God, it sucks so bad. The Amalon Kumakatok HC4. The Omalon Amalon Kumakatok HC4. This is a great design. It's an easy print. It uses roughly a little, right around a half of a roll. It seems like half of a 2.2 a pound roll, one kilogram roll. It printed with a few supports. The supports were easily removed. I use Simplify 3D, and the supports that Simplify 3D prints with are really easy to remove. Um, I printed, this is, this is Red Matter Hackers PLA. It's, it's, a, it's an inexpensive printer filament that does a fantastic job. And I printed on my, I printed on my GMAX 1.5 XT from G-Create. This print was done at 0 0.2 millimeter layer height. That's 200 microns. I, print, I set my, my printer to print at 70 millimeters per second when it's at its top speed. Um, Wait, what else can I tell you? I had a cooling fan going while I was printing it. Um, I had dinner while it was going. Fun story. Uh, I had to go to work. My wife, during the day, texted me pictures of it while I was printing. So, major, major high fives to my wife. She's awesome. Here it is. The Kumakata, uh, Kum, the Omelon Kumaka, Kumak. It's the HC4. It's a pretty awesome hand cannon, and it's a beautiful design by Kirby Downey over at My Mini Factory. The link to My Mini Factory in this design will be down below in the video description. I really enjoy printing these Destiny guns. They, um, they're a good size for my hands, and uh, God, they just they look awesome. They feel awesome. Hey, again, thanks for watching. Sorry there was no time lapse, but without a charged GoPro, it just doesn't seem to work out too well. There'll be more prints in the future with more time lapse in the future. Hey, you know, thanks for watching. As always, high five.